In pursuit of a new energy source for deep space missions, NASA revealed a means of triggering lattice-confined nuclear fusion. Researchers placed deuterated metals in the gamma beam and measured neutron emissions from the resulting nuclear reactions. Nuclear reactions are initiated between deuterium nuclei, or more specifically, deuterons, that are confined in an electron-screened metal lattice as fuel. Nuclear reactions are triggered by gamma-ray irradiation of titanium and erbium metal lattices loaded with the hydrogen isotope deuterium. A deuteron is photodissociated into a proton and neutron. A neutron collides with a stationary deuteron, making an energetic deuteron. The energetic deuteron induces either screened lattice-confined fusion reactions or screened Oppenheimer-Phillips reactions. We will focus on DD fusion reactions in the metal lattice deemed lattice confinement fusion first. An energetic deuteron collides with a stationary deuteron in the lattice and they fuse together. This fusion reaction results in either a neutron and a helium-3 atom or a proton and a triton producing useful energy. In the screened Oppenheimer-Phillips reaction, a proton is stripped from an energetic deuteron and is captured by an erbium atom, which is then converted to a different element, thulium. In the screened Oppenheimer-Phillips reaction, another action can happen. If the neutron instead is captured by erbium, a new isotope of erbium is formed and an energetic proton is ejected, heating the metal lattice. Each of these nuclear fusion reactions produce useful energy, such as for ion propulsion. Further development of the process is required to increase the efficiency of these lattice-confined nuclear reactions. Their applications range from terrestrial or long-duration space power, replacing solar panel arrays, to space propulsion, to the production of radioisotopes. thus paving the way for NASA to further enhance their space missions.